Hey folks, it's Nashwalk Steve here. Today I've just got a quick video to show you how to change the gear case oil on a mid-90s Polaris snowmobile. I've got two of them here. This one's a 96. This one over here is a 97 light. Um, changing the gear case oil is the same in both of these, so I'm guessing it's similar in most mid-90s Polarises. Um, I'll flip the camera around here and show you where we start. Okay, here's that uh, 488 uh, CC engine in the 1996. Um, you can see here, the first thing you wanna do is just check your oil there, uh, the gear case oil, it's, just a, it's not a screw type thing, it's just a pull out, I kinda wanna get some pressure on it. Pull it out and you'll see your safe zone is between these two notches there and then there's a magnet on the end there to see if you have any filings in there. This one I just drained, so it's empty right now. Um, but I'm gonna go show you the other one. This one's not as pretty, this is the 97 light. So it's a 340. This one I pulled the stick on it and it's pretty gunky and there's actually some metal stuff on the magnet. So it looks like it's in the safe zone, maybe a little high actually, but um, definitely some gunk in there. So we're gonna change this oil out and get, a, get some fresh oil in there. So we'll start by draining the oil from here. So as you see, these gear cases are butted up right against the bottom of the belly of the sled. And underneath each of them, you'll find a small hole Just kind of back from the exhaust, here's the exhaust coming out. And here's this little hole right here. Up inside there, you can use a, an Allen wrench to get up in there and loosen up the plug that will allow you to drain out the oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the Allen wrench set up there and start loosening this one up. Okay, I've got my 3 16 Allen wrench up there. Um, I'm using a longer one here on like a multi-tool because it's quite a ways up there. If you use a short Allen wrench, um, you won't be able to reach it, but if, I'll show you. If you put this one around, like a wrench, like a standard Allen wrench, if you put the small side up, it won't reach. If you put the long side up, you're not gonna have much to turn on. You may have to put a wrench on it. Both of these sleds were really hard to break loose. I felt like I was gonna break the wrench, but they came loose. They both cracked loose the same way and were able to drain the oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that one broken loose. Actually, I broke it loose already. Um, I should be able to just twist it out by hand now and drain this one here. doing it blind, but no, that was still too tight. So we're gonna go ahead and switch Allen wrenches and get that loosened up. Okay, I use that other one to get it cracked loose. So now I can just pull it like this and hopefully that plug will come straight out the hole. It's kind of a tight fit. The hole is not very big. On the larger sled, the 1996, the hole was actually kind of oblong and you had quite a bit of room to get the plug out. Here it's not so much. So once it comes loose, hopefully it'll just fall down. Yeah, there we go. That's what you wanted to see. There's a little washer on there, a little O-ring that stayed too. So we'll let this thing drain out and then we'll get that plug back in there. That's about all there is to it. Okay, we've got it down to a slow trickle now. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this plug back in there. So got it on the end of the Allen wrench there. We're gonna go up and see if we can get it started. Get it to seat there. I'm gonna use the longer Allen wrench to give it a good tighten down. Just a little bit of torque here. Just like that. Okay. So that plug is back in. I kind of take a look at the oil that we took out of here. It's kind of cloudy, got different colors in it there, different striping. So there's certainly, certainly ready, ready for a change, no doubt. So and with the little bit of metal we were seeing on the end of that dipstick, um, it's a good idea we did this. This isn't an every year kind of thing that I do with snowmobiles. Um, it's kind of more on an as needed basis, honestly. But 
we'll go ahead and work on getting the oil back in these chain cases now. Okay, now that you've drained out all the old chain case oil, you've got to refill it. So there's a couple options um, you could use. This first one here, a lot of people say they just use ATF um, for changing it out every year. It's no problem. It's it's a similar lubricant to the you know the chain case oil. Uh, this was about five bucks at Walmart. So that's one way to go. If you get a quart of it, it'll last you a while. The other option is to use a, a specific oil meant for chain cases. So here's an Amsoil synthetic chain case and gear oil. This was $11 for the 16 ounce uh, bottle here. So less for more money. It's up to you how you want to handle it. I, like I said, I don't change it out every year. So I'm going to go ahead and use the more expensive synthetic um, just to you know, spend a, a little bit to know that I'm doing the specified uh, lubrication in there. So now we'll go ahead and get it filled up uh, and top off that reservoir like it's supposed to be. Okay, I pulled the dip tube out of there. Um, so there's a hole we're going for. I couldn't fit my funnel in there. It's kind of a narrow opening. If you have a tall funnel, it'll probably work, but I'm kind of a cheapskate in that regard. So I just made a solution myself. Here's a chunk of old garden hose. Um, I was able to make the end kind of pointy and it fits right in down there nicely and then the top is up here so I can just pour into that hole with the, the fluid and away we go. Just do a little at a time because these don't take a lot and I can check and add some more as I need to. Okay just got done topping them off um, so what you want to do to make sure that you're in the right spot put the dip dipstick back in Pull it out and then take a look and see where you're at. Hard to see on this one, actually really hard to see with the light, but it's right between those two ribs there in the safe zone. You kind of see the liquid between them there. There we go. So that's right where we want to be. It's a clear liquid, so it's really hard to tell. So you got to check a few times to make sure you're confident about it. But these ones are both, both of these sleds are both now in the safe zone. So they're all changed out and ready to go. They're actually going to go in storage now for the summer, and then we'll bring them out next fall when the snow starts to fly again. So hopefully that helps you if you're changing out um, the chain case oil in a mid-1990s Polaris snowmobile. Thanks for watching.